Judge Judy has something to say about the controversy surrounding Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, who has been accused of sexual assault. The accusations against Kavanaugh have sparked much division in recent weeks, raising questions of character and potentially criminal behavior in the judge's Supreme Court confirmation hearing. In September 2018, a research psychologist and professor at Palo Alto University named Christine Blasey Ford publicly accused Kavanaugh of sexual assault, relating her story to the Washington Post. She alleged that Kavanaugh and a friend were both, quote, stumbling drunk when they cornered her into a bedroom in the early 1980s, during a period they were all attending high school together in Maryland. Ford, now 51, further alleged that Kavanaugh had pinned her to a bed and groped her. She also said that he tried to take off her clothes and covered her mouth with his hand when she attempted to scream. Ford told the paper that she was able to run away to safety after Kavanaugh's friend, identified as Mark Judge, jumped on top of both of them, allowing her a chance to break free. Ford's lawyer, Deborah Katz, has said her client considers the incident to be an act of attempted rape. Ford, who did not speak about the incident until she disclosed it to a therapist in 2012, has said that she later decided to come forward out of a sense of civic duty, making the information public before Kavanaugh's confirmation as a Supreme Court justice. Judge Judith Scheindlin, best known for her long-running TV show Judge Judy, spoke with TMZ about the headline-making allegations on September 23rd. While she expressed hope that Kavanaugh's accuser will be treated fairly, she cautioned people not to be so quick to jump to conclusions about Kavanaugh. She said, One hopes that people wait and don't rush to judgment and listen to both sides of an argument before they make a decision. That's what's supposed to happen in a fair judicial process. Scheinlin refused to get into the specifics of the case, dodging questions about Ford and her views on the Republican Party. Instead, she simply doubled down on her statement, saying, There's always hope that reasonable people will listen to both sides of an argument before they make a judgment. That's what people are supposed to do. That's not all she had to say on the subject. According to Judy, you're not supposed to rush to judgment on either side. You're supposed to listen to evidence and then make a judgment. And if that doesn't happen, then the end result is not fair, right? Since the confirmation hearing started, another woman named Deborah Ramirez has also come forward with allegations against Kavanaugh. Ramirez alleges her own encounter with Kavanaugh's inappropriate sexual behavior, claiming that he once exposed himself to her at a Yale University party. Kavanaugh, who was nominated for a seat on the Supreme Court by President Donald Trump in July 2018, has denied the allegations. Speaking to Fox News in an interview published on September 14th, the 53-year-old said, I've never sexually assaulted anyone, not in high school, not ever. I've always treated women with dignity and respect. Trump has also spoken out about Kavanaugh, making it clear that he fully supports his embattled Supreme Court nominee and calling him a high-quality person. In addition to questioning the accuracy of Ford's account, Trump has accused Democrats of running a con game with the allegations. He also attacked Deborah Ramirez's credibility, claiming she was totally inebriated and all messed up and she doesn't know. Despite the allegations, Senate Republicans have remained determined to press forward with Kavanaugh's confirmation hearing, while other commentators have called to suspend the process in order to properly investigate the claims of sexual impropriety. At this time, Ford is still expected to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee on September 27th.